in this exercise we will be continuing the step 2.1 we will be implementing the step 4 of getting the response object from the connection and getting the data from the connection objects so as you see the word delegate have arrived so whenever word delegate arrives that means you need to implement some callbacks so the callbacks of the sub agent ns url connection so i'll press the command key and i'll go inside the ns url connection i'll scroll down and i'll get a protocol called ns url connection delegate extending ns object protocol and its first method is optional so we conclude that it's an informal protocol now that in order to collect any data from the server you make you need to implement at least four of the callbacks did receive response did receive data connection did finish loading and connection fail with error so did receive response is the callback when you get when a response is received from the server did receive data can be called multiple time because the data which arrives from the server is in small chunks of the byte and did finish loading means connection object have downloaded all the data from the server and connection fail with error occurs when there is some issue in a network or while getting the data a connection loss happens. So if you see we have connection did fail with error one of the callback but other callback like credential authentication are not needed for our case. Now these are needed when you have some authentication on the server for some particular link but in our case our link doesn't have any authentication. So I will be implementing one of the method I won't be taking optional as a word okay so I go back to my soap tip parser I have implemented the method I will go back I will scroll down and when I scroll down I get another protocol called NS URL connection data delegate which confirms NS URL connection delegate. So basically there is an inheritance in a virtual classes as well. So basically delegate reference is referring to NS URL connection data delegate and in this informal protocol I am getting my method called did receive response, did receive data and connection did finish loading. So these are all three methods of my concern so I will copy these all three needed method for me to perform the operation so I will implement them in my soap tip parser so I will be creating web data only when I get a response before that why should I create web data so when I get a response I will create ns mutable data in did receive data I am getting the chunk of data ns data I will blindly append that web data the chunk of data to my web data the sequence will be maintained by the network layer so at the application layer I will get all the data in the sequence and when a connection did finish loading occurs that means the use the ns url connection has downloaded entire data from the server so what we will do we will be converting that data into a string for printing on a console so i will say ns string web data ns utf h string encoding now we are not creating any swift string instead we are creating ns string because converting an, an, an where uh, ns mutable data to the ns string is straightforward by using the constructor but converting the ns mutable data to the swift string contains three four steps so it's better to use use ns mutable ns string to convert the ns mutable data now i'll be using print ln i'll say xml str is I use the format expression so now I have already implemented step 2.1 now I need to create a connection from the controller to the uh, to this model the, that connection we will cover in the next exercise